Hello, happy 30th of October, so you have two days until NaNo, and I'm only on chapter 9 of my outline, and I don't know what to put for chapter 9, because, well, last night I had a dance party, um, instead of outlining, but then I did end up finishing outlining chapter 8 of this, and I'm so excited for when I finally get to write chapter 8, because I freaking love it. I was just, like, crying over how much I loved the fact that my two main characters were fangirling about each other's weapons. Like, it was beautiful. But... Um, I don't know what to do for chapter 9, because I know what I need to have happen at the end of chapter 9, but I don't know what to put for chapter 9 to fill it, you know? So, that's kind of what I'm dealing with, and I kind of, like, have an idea, but, like, it seems really stupid. So, I don't know. I'm waiting for my granny to talk, to call me so we can talk about our book, and I gotta start school in a few, so that's what I'm doing. Uh... Yeah, happy uh, NaNoWriMo, guys. I mean, it's not NaNo yet, but it's coming up close, so happy two days from NaNo, guys. Hi, so it is Halloween, and my mom and I are just about to put up our Christmas tree. It's going right there. We usually put it in that corner, but today it's going in that corner. And this season, it's going in that corner. So, yes. I will definitely show you guys when it's up. It's going to take a long time because we have a big tree. We got to get it out from the storage space in the basement along with all of our ornaments. So it's a big task, but we're going to do it. And uh, we might put on Christmas music. I know it's Halloween. I know, but I don't care. It's, Christmas is already here, so... This is where I had to get it out of, guys. This crawl space. We should have got them all. I'm sure it was like three for 20 or something. Okay, so it is 7 o'clock in the night time, uh, and we finished putting up our Christmas decorations, didn't we, Mom? We did. We got a good start on it, didn't we? So, basically, I still need to decorate my room, um, we and... We those two trains downstairs, too. Oh, yeah, we have trains, too, that we need to put up, but, basically, we got most of it done and i wanted to show you guys some of my favorite ornaments so mom wanted to put up me when i was younger uh this is one of my favorite ornaments and it basically just has it like it's like a slidey one kind of need both hands for this one but this is one of my favorites um and then i know that these babies are some of my mom's favorites they're just babies and these ones are so old you can tell when you touch them um, but yeah, these are some of my mom's favorites. Let's see. How can you tell by touching them? They feel older. Some of the ornaments I've had for 30 years this year. I know. And then this one is also pretty old. 1992. Let's see. Oh, yes. That one is also one of my favorites. It, you're supposed to be able to light it up into your lights, but we never put it on there because it usually like glitches our lights out. But that's another one of my favorites. But this is another one of my favorites. And then I also like, if I can find it. Where's the Mickey and Minnie um, shopping with the cell phone? Over on this side. Oh, okay. These are my mom's, my mom's talking about. That's Minnie and that's uh, Mickey. I'm sorry if the camera's angle's not good. I'm... I kind of blocked myself in. Uh, and then this is one of my other favorite ornaments. And you can just open it up. Which is easy when you have two hands. 
Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is another one of my favorite ornaments. You just open it up. And, yeah. Okay, so, this is how I spent Halloween. Tomorrow is the first day of NaNo. So, uh, wish me luck. Hi, so it's November 1st and I'm in my workout clothes because I'm going to work out after I do a few writing sprints. So it's currently 12.09. I haven't written anything today, but I have hung out with my mom and we had Subway and I love Subway so much. Like, I love Subway. Um, but yes, I'm about to do some writing sprints. First writing sprints of November. I am so freaking excited. So, um... Yeah, wish me luck. Well, when you're seeing this, it already happened, but <laughs> I'm scared, but I'm also really excited to start my story. So, yes, I'm going to start writing now because I'm going to go work out. So, there we go. It is 1 o'clock, 1.18 actually. Um, I did not write from 12 to 1. I did write for about 40 minutes. I did two 20-minute uh, sprints. Um, and I got 736 words, so yes, um, I have less than a thousand words left, guys, uh, but I'm gonna try and write, uh, more than today's word time, I'm gonna try and get ahead, because I already know that I'm not gonna, like, keep up this, you know, so I'm gonna try and get ahead, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm listening to, because I do listen to music while I write, and actually, Cam, uh, came out Friday with another album, and this is, I love Cam because uh, her music is so pretty because she has such a beautiful voice and so this is the album that came out on Friday I think it was and it is gorgeous okay um, my favorite song is the title uh, song which is the other side this is my favorite song because I love it so much I also like Redwood Tree and Diane there Diane's a really fun song but the other side is my number one out of these songs um, I just I love this album so far and I'm not upset with it okay uh, I like it a lot, um, and I will be showing you guys throughout these vlogs the albums that I listen to. Maybe I'll give you an album a week that I recommend, so this week's album recommendation, The Other Side by Cam, because it's amazing, and I recommend it wholeheartedly. It's amazing, and I love it. I just want to document this. This is the first time I've ever gotten to one in this game, and I just got to one, so I wanted to document it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm such, I'm, I'm amazed. I can't believe this finally happened after playing this game for like years on and off. And then my dad buy me a version of it. I finally got to one. I mean, we knew it would happen eventually. Because if I have my own copy of the game. But, boom. I finally got to one, baby. I should go back to writing, but I finally got to one. Alright, this is the end of... NaNoWriMo day numero uno and I hit the word count kind of I already had a few hundred words written in my document and the ending of the first chapter is so rough okay in July I actually wrote like the first four chapters or something in this um and I got about 10,000 words into it and so I was like something was missing from the first chapter. I'm trying. I was trying to figure out what was missing. So I went back to the original document where I had the first like ten thousand words, and I was like, when I wrote this, it sounded so bad. But right now, you compare it to what I got, it sounds phenomenal. And just something is missing in the ending, like something that like packs a punch, and. I have to keep in mind that it's the first draft. I can come back and like pack a punch later, you know? But it's just so difficult to get out of my mind that I packed a punch with the first chapter of the original 10,000 words and now I don't know how to pack a punch now. <laughs> I'm writing a book with assassins. I just know how to pack a punch. <sighs> and I already know there's like a few paragraphs in there that are just in completely me just writing down what's supposed to be happening and it makes no sense. So I might actually go back and rework that right now. Like I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking I might go back to my original 10,000 word document and like read over that and try and put some of those paragraphs into my new document because I know I did it a lot better then and I'm just trying to figure out what went wrong and how to fix it. 
But I need to remember, first drafts, they're not perfect, okay? I just need to get the 50,000 words down. As soon as I get the 50,000 down, I'm going to feel great, and that's all I need, okay? Happy day two! So, yes, it is the second day of NaNoWriMo, and it is currently 414, and yes, I have written today, okay? I'm not about to say, and I haven't written a single thing today. No, I did write today. I joined Kate Kavanaugh's uh, Twitch stream. Uh, it was from 1 to 3 my time, so I went and I did schoolwork two hours earlier, so instead of, you know, doing schoolwork until 3, I just did two hours before 3 so I could participate in the stream. And I did hit the wor daily word count. I almost got 3,000 words today. Um, and that's because I went and copy and pasted some of the work I had from the first draft. So I didn't go through and edit it. Like, I still have my old main character's name, which her old name was Naomi. And so I still have Naomi where I'm supposed to put the new name. And I'm like, no, no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it, okay? Like, I just... I don't know why, but I feel like it was better the first time. And I'm about, tomorrow I'm starting chapter 3, and I am completely redoing chapter 3, so I can't, like the first two chapters were pretty much the same, they just had some new scenes that I had outlined that I needed to write, but chapter 3 is being completely like rewritten, and it doesn't, it has the same gist, you know, but it does it's not written the same way. Hopefully, fingers crossed I can get it right. I don't know what it is. I'm just not liking what I'm writing and nothing is sounding good. So I was writing my one this is like the first like this is kind of like the inciting incident like right before the inciting incident maybe. And so like something happens here. It's one of my favorite scenes and basically we get to meet the main character. I'll call her Naomi. But we get to meet Naomi as a sister in this scene and you just get to see how much Naomi cares for her sister and how far she would go to protect her sister. And this is really important because the entire story like hinges on the fact that her sister dies and that she loses her mind, right? So you ha I have to like make it good and I couldn't get it good. It was so annoying. So I just went and copy and pasted it into there. Cause I was like, ah, you look, you look better and sound better here than you do here. So yeah, I went and I, I just copy and pasted it. Um, so I technically, I technically wrote 3000 words. I mean, I didn't, but it, that's what I put on nano. So there we go. Um, but yeah, so I'm really hoping that like I can like get in to the writing because I was I'm really excited to write the story and I'm really excited to deal with Naomi's problems and her mental and physical problems that she's going to have after her sister's death so I'm really excited to do that because like uh torturing your characters yeah okay yes but I gotta get there and I don't know how to get there because I'm not doing good like I'm not doing good so far I just held a plank tonight for three minutes. Uh, the highest I had been was a minute 30 and that was pushing it and I just held a plank. I can't believe it. My goal is five, okay? Like, I'm gonna do five, okay? January 1st, five minute plank. Yeah, I think it's possible. I think it's doable. My thighs hurt so bad though. Like, they kill me. And my arms are gonna hurt tomorrow. I already know it, but like, a three minute plank, just I can't believe it. Alright everybody, it is 8.53 on October 3rd, so happy NaNoWriMo day 3, and I finished my day. I'm going to go get ready for bed, because um, Kate's hosting a live stream at 8 o'clock my time, and um, 
I don't know if I'm going to participate, but I mean, I, don't know. I should try and go to bed just in case. Um, but today's word count, are you ready? One, four, three, seven. So, not the goal for the day. Um, a few hundred short, actually. Just two, just two thirty something, you know. Uh, but if you take a little look, see at the word count. That's what I'm sitting at. Uh, but you got to remember that that includes that includes what I uh, copied from my old document. Um, but yeah. Almost 6,000 words. That's great. Today I wrote a chapter where the sister dies, um, and I wasn't crying, so I need to redo it and make it sad. Uh, but that's not my problem at the moment. But yeah, I wrote this chapter, um, and that was today. Uh, so we're doing good. I mean, I didn't hit today's word count. But I've run three days in a row, and I mean, knock on wood, but I, that's, that's like, that's the longest I've ever ran for NaNoWriMo, and I've actually gotten close to hitting the word count every single day. So, I'm proud of myself, you don't have to be proud of me, but I'm proud of me, and that's really all that matters. So now I'm going to go watch Iron Fist while you're ready for bed, because I like it, so. Alright, 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 alright. So, it is the end of day four. I'm trying to get my camera to sit up by itself, but it's not going to. Alright, it is the end of day four. And, and, I wrote 1,947 words. Yes, guys, I hit the word count that I needed today, which is 1630. I hit the word count and I didn't copy anything and I kind of like and I didn't like cheat anything either with words I wrote before Nano so I'm blown away blown away um and look at where I am for word count okay where is it there it is so close to 8,000, so close to 8,000. So, yes, I'm having a blast. I'm doing great. I feel great. I mean, I don't really like the story. Um, oopsies. Uh, I'm just, you know, with everything that I have been struggling with the past three days, I'm not really enjoying it. But, but, um, I'm about to get into the newly outlined stuff. So chapter six on out <laughs> haven't been written before. So I'm kind of screwed if I get stuck. <laughs> um, but yeah, 1900 words. Wow. Did I say 19,000 earlier? I don't know. They're all going crazy in my head. Um, I'm going to read a book. I've already read Grandina's pages for the day, so I think I'm going to read a different book, but I'm not going to read one for Baldivathon. Okay, I'm not going to. I think I'm going to read The Hazelwood. Um, so, there we go. I would, like, I really want to read Girls of Paper and Fire right now, because it just, I really want to read this book. But it's not on my TBR, so I can't read it. I shouldn't read it. I, I can read it. I just shouldn't do it. But I want to. So I don't know. I just, I really, oops. I don't care if I'm writing a story in past tense and uh, basically this entire chapter has been in present. I don't care, all right? I'll fix it later. <laughs> Words were hard today, okay? They were hard today. So uh, we're going to look together and see how many I got. Oh, oh, it don't even look like a thousand. <laughs> oh, no. It was, it was not going good today. I'm not kidding you. 989. <laughs> but I'm 9,220 words into the story, so that's pretty good. Oh, my God, the words, guys. They were so, so hard today. I don't know what what it was, but they were just, like, like it wasn't coming together. It wasn't flowing. That was in 
it felt impossible. And I know I always quote, you know, when somebody says impossible, they usually mean improbable. And like, yeah, I, uh, yeah, it was improbable. It's right today, not impossible. But it was mm, bad. It was bad, okay? <sighs> what a bad way to end the vlog. <laughs> what a bad way to end the vlog. Um... Alright, well, it's the end of the vlog. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching week numero uno of the NaNoWriMo vlog. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I'm going to be posting videos on Monday and these vlogs on Friday. And if you'd like to follow me on the NaNoWriMo website, link is in the description box. You can find my uh, profile there so feel free to go check it out and um yeah there we go so yeah like i said thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys all monday i guess but i'll see you guys all tomorrow actually because i'm gonna you know film tomorrow but yeah i'll see you guys all later bye <laughs>